almost everyone thought it was a bad idea. All that did was strengthen my resolve. Hi there, I hope you're well today. I'm just going to read an extract from my book about the album artwork for Fearless. To write this book and not discuss the controversy over this image would, I think, be a missed opportunity to contextualise my artistic choices. The image on all of my albums is intended to describe more about what you can expect from the music. Beautiful Monday was simple, Together was technicoloured and Fearless was bare. This image is a photoshopped version of a charcoal drawing by Kate Sims of a photograph of me taken by Beth Whitley. So it is me, although that's not what is particularly important. The message is the representation of facing vulnerability. I realise that there are people who can't see past the nudity, they don't see the imagery or the metaphor, and I knew that this would be a risk, but I had to take it. As with the rest of this album, I was not willing to compromise, as I will relate. This image describes the music in its emotionally raw state and is a symbol of me shedding the disappointments and the unmet expectations of previous projects and life choices that have left me artistically unfulfilled and sometimes heartbroken. It could have been anyone in the picture as the bearing all was a metaphor, but I guess the fact that it was me just deepened my reasoning. Also, having had body image issues since I was a small child, it was an exercise in learning to accept myself the way that I am. Another huge step at such a turbulent time in my life, and one that has liberated me in many other ways. I was going through a nasty separation at the time after a toxic and dysfunctional relationship that threatened to leave me feeling like a failure on every level, not least as a woman and as an artist. Fearless embodies more of those struggles than I realised at the time. I love Beautiful Monday, it wakened me. I love Strangers, the 10 track rock pop album that had major label interest that was 90% done and never released. It excited me, but I knew it wasn't really me. But Fearless, Fearless set me free. Fearless was the album that opened doors I didn't even know was there. I got validation as an artist from someone I had not realised I was trying desperately to impress. Me. I finally felt like this was the album that represented me as a creative, and I didn't care if it was commercially viable, I didn't care if any of it got radio play, I had the songs on it that I wanted, they were recorded, arranged and produced how I wanted them, and I took great pains to make that so. I had the musicians that I wanted to play on it, and with the joy of the technological advances, it didn't matter where they were geographically. We had real strings, something an earlier producer had told me was never worth the cost. And I couldn't disagree more. Listen to the strings on the title track, Fearless, and tell me that wasn't worth it. It was three years in the making during an exceptionally turbulent time in my life. A Herculean effort creatively, practically and financially. During a time when it would definitely have been easier to give up, it took a huge amount of courage on my part to see this through and retain the bare honesty in the music that I so desperately desired at this point. That gave rise to the title track, but also the artwork. Knowing in my heart that this was the image I wanted, I had several discussions with a variety of people to see what their thoughts on it would be. Almost everyone thought it was a bad idea. All that did was strengthen my resolve. It made me realise how much the image embodied my feelings at the time, although it took me a while to articulate that. A close friend from university, Naomi, a song on Together is inspired by her, said that she felt the image took the word off fearless, which could have been interpreted as a, war, as a word of warmongering violence. But showing a soft, feminine vulnerability in the image, it took on more of a representation of the music. I had several meetings with Kate Sims, the artist who seemed completely at ease with what I was asking. As an experienced life drawing artist, she completely understood what I was looking for. 
I think that's why I like the charcoal one the best too. Bare, no frills, all completely natural, no apologies. It is what it is. Take it or leave it. There have been some people who've not been able to see past the image long enough to consider that viewpoint. Some who have considered it offensive and some who considered it controversial, but still I have no regrets. Perhaps those people would have listened to and enjoyed the music if the image had been different, but at what artistic sacrifice to myself. Fearless had to be the album that was my legacy at that time. And without that artwork, it would have been incomplete. The fulfillment I experienced of it being exactly what I wanted at all costs was an incredible lesson. This has not always been the case since. I have been happy to give and take on subsequent works, but trusting my instincts to know that at that point in my life, I was just not willing to compromise to hell with the consequences was actually a wonderful life lesson for me. Learning to hear my instincts and trust them was liberating and incredibly powerful. I apologise if the image offends you in as much as I am sorry that you feel offended. But I do not apologise for creating my work as I wanted it. Once it was complete, I knew I was standing on the ground I'd been trying to get to all of my life and for that I cannot be sorry. As you will learn in this book, it led to opportunities I could not have dreamed of.